This is an update on Project One of the Apologetics Empire. When I posted a video a few weeks ago saying that Project One would be a video series translated into other languages, I had no idea whether five people or 50 people would be interested in this project. Turned out to be hundreds of people in dozens of languages, all of the main languages we would think of and some languages I've never heard of. So we're moving forward. By the way, I haven't responded to most emails about this project because there are too many messages to respond to, and I wouldn't be able to get anything else done if I tried to respond to even a fraction of the emails I get. Nabil told me years ago to hire an assistant before I have a heart attack. I still haven't followed his advice, so for now, I'll have to give a general response in this video. Let's go through the next few steps so we can get started as soon as everyone is ready. First, our website is being constructed. I had a Zoom meeting with Jorge from Cross Examined and a team that does websites and graphic design and such. The website will be apologeticsempire.com. It's currently under construction. When it's finished, there will be a place for videos and transcripts, and there will be a project discussion forum. We'll have a general discussion forum where we can discuss things, but we'll also have separate threads for different languages. So, for instance, there will be a thread for Urdu, so that people who are collaborating on the Urdu translation can contact each other. That brings us to the second issue. For some languages, there were 10 or 15 people who contacted me saying that they're interested in working on the translations for that language. That's why we want a place on the website where these people can collaborate. I'll say two things here. One, there is no problem with different people doing the entire video series for different YouTube channels in the same language. In other words, if one person or a group makes the entire series in Urdu and another person or a group makes the entire series in Urdu for different channels, there's no problem with that at all. It would be awesome to have the information available in as many different places as possible. Two, it's also good for people to collaborate and work together. If there are several people who want to work on the series in a particular language and they can break up the tasks so that two or three people are working on the translations and someone is doing the recording and someone's focusing on the editing, that's good too. So use the discussion forum to figure out your plans for your language. Third, one question I got over and over again was, what happens if some deceptive person is distorting the message? What if some keyboard jihadi signs up to make the videos in Farsi, but he's really promoting Islam? How would we know? Well, I'm assuming that we're going to hear pretty quickly if someone's twisting the material. If someone is making the series in Farsi and he's being deceptive, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get like 50 messages from people who speak Farsi saying, don't trust this guy. I think it's pretty unlikely that someone's going to make it through all 50 videos without us figuring out that he's distorting the material. So obviously someone could trick us temporarily, but probably not long term. Fourth, a lot of people said that they can't help out with the translations or recordings, but that they would like to contribute financially to the project. I think it would be best for people who want to contribute financially to help some of the teams directly. We can figure that out in the forum. So if someone says, hey, I can translate and I can do videos, but I don't have a camera or a microphone or editing software or something, then someone who wants to help out financially could help that person get what he needs in order to get started. It would also be cool if people from specific countries could help each other. If someone from Germany needs a microphone and someone from Germany is willing to buy the microphone, that might be easier than someone from a different country buying the microphone because it'll be easier buying something for someone if you know the language on the website you're ordering from. But we can figure that stuff out. Fifth, I said that I would put together a video on how to make videos. John McRae and I are going to make a few videos about that. Those will be on my other channel. The link is in the description box. The basic idea is that you can do lighting with professional studio lights. But if you don't have professional studio lights, you can still do lighting with the lamps you've already got. 
John McRae and I have both made videos using very cheap equipment, and we've made videos using very expensive equipment. So we're going to post a few tutorials going through everything you need to know about making videos for this particular project, no matter what your situation is. Sixth, we're going to have a lot of people from different parts of the world working together on one big project. Some people don't work well with others. I don't always work well with others. So I encourage everyone to try to get along with everyone else as much as possible, to complain as little as possible, even if someone is annoying you, to be kind and forgiving, because this is a huge project. Putting together a 50-part apologetics curriculum in dozens of different languages is a huge project. In terms of impact, this could end up being one of the most important apologetics projects in history. So we want to make sure that we don't get sidetracked. Finally, topics. Here's a list of the 50 topics we'll be covering. It's kind of loosely organized. We start with some general Islam topics, then several videos on Muhammad, then several videos on the Quran, then the rest on Christian topics and Muslim objections. Why should Christians learn about Islam? What are the basics of the Islamic worldview? What books do Muslims believe in? Is Islam the world's fastest growing religion? Is Islam a religion of peace? Who was Muhammad? Was Muhammad a true prophet? Is Muhammad a good role model? Did Muhammad promote idolatry? Did Muhammad have spiritual problems? Did Muhammad perform miracles? Did Muhammad use religion for his own interests? Is Muhammad mentioned in the Bible? Is Muhammad the prophet like Moses? Deuteronomy 18.18 18. Is Muhammad mentioned in Song of Solomon 5.16? Is Muhammad the promised comforter? John 14.16 How did Muhammad die? What is the Quran? Why was the Quran revealed in Arabic? Was the Quran plagiarized from earlier sources? Is the Quran a literary miracle? Has the Quran been perfectly preserved? Are there contradictions in the Quran? Are there scientific errors in the Quran? How does the Quran view women? How does the Quran view Jews and Christians? Are violent Quran verses taken out of context? Do Christians and Muslims worship the same God? What are the main differences between Islam and Christianity? What does the Quran say about the Bible? Does the Quran ever claim that the Bible has been corrupted? What is the Gospel? Did Allah corrupt the Gospel? Did Jesus die by crucifixion? Could one man die for the sins of others? Did Jesus rise from the dead? Did Jesus claim to be God? Is Jesus God or the Son of God? Where does the Bible call Jesus the Son of God? Why does the Bible call Jesus the Son of God? If Jesus is God, how could he die? If Jesus is God, why did he pray? Why did Jesus say, the Father is greater than I? Does the New Testament teach that God is a trinity? Is God a trinity in the Old Testament? Does the trinity make sense? Can we trust the Apostle Paul? Is Christianity a religion of peace? What really happened at the Council of Nicaea? And how can Christians share the gospel with Muslims? We'll do one video per week for 50 weeks. Then we'll do the study guide. In the future, we could always add a few videos to this series if we think of some other topics or questions or objections that need to be included. And we'll have other projects as well. But for now, it's time to focus on Project 1. If we get this done, mark my words, we are going to see some very significant changes in the world. So, John and I will post some tutorials soon. Check those out so you can be ready to record. Shortly after that, the website should be up, at which time I'll post another update. After that, we'll be communicating on the forum. And once everything is in place, we'll launch the first video. By the way, unless something weird happens, this should all take place very quickly. We should be up and running and posting within the next month. So, fasten your seatbelts because we're going for a ride. Oh, and if you're watching this video and you have no idea what I'm talking about because you never saw the first Project One video, 
The link to that is in the description box as well. Be sure to check it out, and get involved, so you can tell your grandkids that you were right there at the beginning of the apologetics empire.